Hello and welcome to the next segment in uh, the Insider Code MetaTrader 4 tutorial. Uh, this time around we're going to take a look at the actual order form or what uh, when I was trading at the, the hedge funds what we would call an order ticket. Um, in, in some of the other sessions we covered things like the difference between a limit and uh, a market order. Uh, we, we talked about a little bit why you would want to use a limit order versus a market order. This time around we're going to look directly at the ticket or the order form. There are a couple of ways to get this in, in MetaTrader. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure, uh, because let's face it, we're talking about real money here. And the worst time, you know, there are right reasons to lose money and there are wrong reasons to lose money. As strange as that sounds, the right reason to lose money is if you have a, a stop order in and you're protecting your, pro your, your profit or your equity in your account and you get stopped out. The wrong reason to lose money is because you screwed up. And so here's some of the common mistakes. Number one, always check the symbol on, on the chart where you're trading to make sure that it's what you want to trade. So here's the euro, uh, we've got the pound, the yen, and then the Swiss. So if first of all, if I, if I am wanting to trade the euro, I wanna select that chart. Now there are a couple of ways to enter, actually several ways to enter orders. The first one and the one that I like to use is the mouse and so if you look at your mouse you've got two buttons a left button which is what we use when we double click or you know if I want to select a chart I'm clicking on the left mouse button you can probably hear the click in the background the other way is with the right mouse button so if I click the right mouse button it brings up this little menu and I, I can go ahead and select trading now you also see another way here you can select the F or press the F9 button so if you look at the very tippity top of your keyboard there's a row of keys called the function keys, uh, you can press F9 and that's going to bring up this order ticket. Uh, now just a little bit of history for you, um, when, when I was trading at the, uh, at the firm, we had red tickets for sell and blue tickets for buy. And so that's uh, why I'm assuming the good folks at MetaTrader actually have red and blue there, uh, helping us old, uh, old phone traders <laughs> understand sell and buy. Okay, now when you're looking at the order form in MetaTrader, you've got the current price here. Very important for you to understand, there are two prices here. Okay, and now in between these prices is what's called the spread. Now you can see uh, with this particular broker, MetaTrader, there is basically a one pip spread. In other words, if I wanted to buy the euro right now, I could buy at 3,009 or 309. If I wanted to sell, I could sell right now at 3,008 or 308. Okay, that would be the market order. And I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the the differences between market and limit. We covered that in other sections. But it's important for you to understand the spread. Uh, this is another area that, that traders get confused on. Uh, maybe it'll help you. The, in, in the marketplace, as a retail trader, you do not get to buy or sell at wholesale. So in the professional world, we actually buy on the bid and sell on the offer. That's another way of saying uh, the, there's the bid and the ask, okay? So your broker, if you want to buy, is going to ask you for 3,009. Your, your broker then is bidding for your business at 3,009. You can see this is basically a cross market now, at 3,009. So if you wanted to sell, your broker would bid for your business. Well, we bid 3,009. Okay, and so the, this also ties in with the fact that all markets are auction-based markets. Okay, so if you've ever if you've ever gone to an auction, what do you do? Well, if someone is going to sell to you, if someone is selling, they're bidding. Okay, it's another way of looking at it. All right, so in the Insider Code, we talk about uh, a a particular way of uh, organizing our orders, and we'll, we'll talk about usually 80-20 or we may say 70-30. And so our, our members know when I say 80-20, 
what I'm talking about is splitting up an order into 80% and 20%. Why, why do we do that? Well, we do that because we want to take our profits early. And so 80%, we usually wait for a very quick move in the market. We take some of it off, but then we want to leave some on to run. This is a big mistake traders make, and I know it doesn't apply specifically to orders, uh, but it's more of a strategy, but it's a very important one. Most of the retail traders uh, that I meet, they don't leave a portion of their profit to run. And there are a lot of reasons for it, but I can tell you most professional traders will. So I would suggest that you divide up your orders and we're gonna cover what that means and exactly how to do it. First of all, if you're gonna divide up your orders with MetaTrader, just know you need to have two separate orders. So you gotta plan this out ahead of time. So if I was planning on buying, let's say, the Euro uh, right here where it's trading, what I need to do first is change from a, a market execution to a pending order if I'm trying to buy higher. I know I just changed that midstream. Uh, if though I want to get in right now, I'm going to um, use a, a, market, a market execution or a market order. So if I'm gonna split this up, let's say I normally trade a 10 lot, I would have eight, remember 80, 20. I would then place the buy market. And it's gonna tell me the order number that the, and that the buy was successful. And then I click OK. Uh, and then I can see here on MetaTrader shows me exactly where my buy was and it gives me a nice cool green line. And so then I'm gonna go in here, um, place another order. And since I'm doing 80-20, this one is gonna be for 20%. Remember, this is a 10 lot, so 80-20 would be eight and two. And then I'll just buy the market again and of course, I wouldn't be chatting like this. I would just be getting the order in as fast as I could. And so there, we've got we've got the the buy already set up. Now you'll notice though that on on the ticket, I didn't talk about a stop. I didn't talk about a limit. None of that was already set. So how then? How do you go in and and do all of that if you want to do? Well, first of all, some brokers don't let you place uh, the the stop and the limit when you're placing a market order. And so that's going to vary by broker to broker. Um, and you know what, if, if you if your broker doesn't give you the kind of order you want, got news for you, switch brokers. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't need to be married to them. So let's go over, uh, my broker happens to be one that, that will not let me place the uh, stop and the limit on a market, and I'm fine with that. So let's go ahead and place a different order. This one's gonna be on the British pound. You'll notice up here, you can select the symbol. Remember, step one, make sure you're on the right symbol. We're gonna do 80-20 again, so I'll go ahead and select eight, but this time, instead of market, I want a pending order. Now, notice with the pending order, all of a sudden, I can place the stop and the take profit, and the pending order is also giving me now the type. What type of order do I want? Again, I won't go into a lot of detail with the, the reason why I would want to use a, a limit versus a stop or, or vice versa. Uh, but let's, in this case, let's say I want to sell. So I'm going to have a sell limit in there. And I can see where the current price is. Now you notice there's a bigger spread here, 5627, 5629. I've got two pips on the British pound. Now, because I, uh, and we teach this in the Insider Code, every time I place an order, and, and I don't, I literally do not know one professional that doesn't do it this way. In other words, every professional I know does it this way. They place an order, they've got a stop, they've got a profit target in the market. They're not just holding it in their head because that's a surefire way to not place it when, when the time comes. So I'm gonna place the stop loss here. Now remember, if I'm selling, then my stop loss is going to be above where I'm placing my order. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll just move this up rapidly. You can see here it's showing up right on the screen. Well, so obviously if, if I'm going to get in on a, a sell limit, which is, let's, we'll place a sell limit above the market here. Um, and you see the market's trading. If I wanted to sell, it'd be at 56.29. So let's sell at 56.35, okay? so. My stop loss can't be lower than that. That doesn't make sense. The broker's gonna come back and tell me you did it wrong. So 
I'll do this quickly, 1.5670. Okay, so I'm gonna have a, a fairly large stop there. Take profit, now remember, we're selling, so a take profit has to be lower. Now you can see when I click on it, it automatically shows me take profit. Um, and so I can set that to whatever I want. I'll just go ahead and do one point, uh, we'll do 5545. I'm just pulling that number I, I looked over at the chart. All right, now, normally, or I shouldn't say normally, back when all of this was done over the phone, my brokers would always read back the order. It didn't matter if I was trading on the floor or if I was trading at an institutional desk, they always confirmed the order. And I would implore you, I would beg you to always confirm your order. So we wanna go back, is it the right symbol? Yes, I wanna trade the pound. Is it the right volume? Yes. Is my stop where I want it? 5670, is my profit where I want it? 5545, pending order, it's a sell limit, it's a sell limit at 5635. If everything checks out, boom, place the order. Then it's telling me, all right, you are successful. Now here's the thing, if I'm doing an 80-20 order, I'm going to want to I'm going to want to keep the, I'm going to want to keep these the same. So, I would suggest click the print and either, you know, print to a PDF or actually print it out. Uh, and so there I just printed the order. I'm actually going to go another route and uh, do a screen capture. I don't know if that's showing up on uh, on your side. Okay. All right, so we've got the one order in there, and so I'm going to just go in and place another one. Trading, new order. I think that might have gone off the screen. Trading, new order. You can see it pops up again. Now this time, I'm only going to place two. Let me actually get my get this off of my printer. All right, so now I've got it sitting right in front of me. And it's telling me, okay, account number, it's got the account number, MacX, demo server. All right, so I've got sell limit eight. So I can go through here. So I wanna sell two, pending, ex, pending order. And, and believe me, this is exactly how all of the pros that I know do it. They, they make sure that there aren't errors, okay? They make sure that uh, they, they just make sure they get things right. So don't feel bad if you're reading it off of here like I am. So I'm gonna go here, stop loss, make sure to highlight the whole thing, 1.56359 was the price. And my take profit, whoops, see there's the first error, sell limit at 56359, this is why we read it off, stop loss, 1.56700, 1.56700, and the take profit, 1.55450, and then down here, sell limit eight GBP USD at 1.56359.